My name is Timur Savan. I'm a director of photography, also a Sigma Cine Pro. And today I want to talk about the Sigma Classic Cine Art. I think what Sigma wanted to get across, or, or even just to see and find out what their capabilities were, was just, you know, they were an aggressive, um, Hello. charismatic set of lenses. You know, the, the, the flares are very strong. The, you look at them funny and they flare. The lights don't even have to be in frame and they will flare. You know, any, any errant photon, it takes it, bounces it around the inside and spits it somewhere on the sensor. Hello. You don't know where. Um, so they have this like energetic flare that kind of moves across the frame. If it's a point source, it's really defined and clean. If it's a soft source, it's very hazy and, and kind of you know floats out over, clouding the frame up. But like in a good way, not in a in a aesthetically unpleasing way. You know? So I think the job was really more to just put them through a pace and, and and see what they can do and you know kind of beat them up a little bit. I sort of maybe went a little too far with them and put them into the most difficult and most challenging situation, which is 35 foot tall, giant windows that face north. So going into post, I think the only um, concerns we had was a little bit of a concern on set, which is in some of the shots, specifically the one sideways tracking uh, through the hallway where it kind of goes through the pillars and she's backlit by the windows. In that one instance, the lenses were flaring so much that no matter how far I stopped down, um, they still added so much fill to the base exposure that it sort of, it is, was almost like the window was wrapping around and lighting the sensor, like regardless of where the iris was. It almost like the iris didn't matter. All it did was kind of change the direction and rotation of the flare a little bit. So I was kind of worried about what was going to be in there. And, and on set, it looked extremely overexposed and it looked um, concerning. You know, so it's kind of like, hmm, let's see how this shot works out. You know, it, so in post, you know, it was it was a little bit of a relief to know that oh, it's all still there, and it, you know, there was still plenty of detail and you know, everything looked fine. In fact, all of those blown out windows are completely exposed outside. I had to actually burn them out uh, to just kind of make them light. One of the things that I, <laughs> I think was kind of a good sign of how well designed the optics are is that uh, they don't have any chromatic aberration at all. Uh, even without the coatings, they're they're designed well enough that you know they don't have that one flaw, which is usually a telltale sign for older optics. Um, but what's cool about that is that you get all the good stuff. You get the softness, you get the vignetting, you get the flaring, you get the you know resolution fall off into the corners. But without the one thing that's ugly, so it's sort of like you get all the good stuff without any of the bad stuff. So that, that was really like kind of surprising to see. Like even on you know on the we shot in the Monstro, so we had a you know. A, Vista Vision lens, and even in the far corners with you know burning highlights and you know hot, super high contrast edges, interior exterior, and not a hint of green, not a hint of purple. So it, it, it brings the image into this kind of interesting place where the natural defect that your eyes normally go to were not there, and you kind of helped focus the attention back to what was important, which was you know the dancer. Thank you for watching Operator. Uh, the classics were a pleasure to work with and I hope to shoot more on them soon.